up two more and pick up the fall. Mia Macaluso earns the pin and a spot on the junior world team in a crazy three match series with London Houston. And ladies and gentlemen, taking the championship. She takes the championship at 59 kilos. Hats off to both these ladies. And we're gonna move into our final bout of the day. Every other mat shut down. Sixty-five kilos, best of three, round three. And that's Katarina Lang in on the single leg right away. Goes up to the head. And she's gonna finish on top. I thought she almost, I thought she had it, but it turns out she didn't. Trying to circle behind is Lang. Lang won match number one by fall. Boyd won match number two on criteria. Four, three, and Boyd's gonna take her. Feet to back, and they're gonna oh, have five, and it's gonna be confirmed as five. Big start for Alara Boyd, and a one point reversal for Lang. And this one starts with a wild, with a wild way. And in that first bout, um, Lang had a nice headlock, a really tight headlock, and, and picked up the pin in about the same time she got the pin, maybe just before, actually, Boyd went out, lost, lost consciousness, you know, just a little blood choke, but it was ended in a fall, and match two really tight. Boyd comes back and gets the win, 4-3, and Puts us right here in match number three. And of course that big five point throw from Boyd to get things kicked off. That was her second five. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the day, but she hit a violent head, um, head over heels throw in like I think it was first or second round. It was on our social media platforms. Got a lot of engagement, a lot of people liked it. Beautiful back arch. And single leg, good defense again. We've seen that defense in match number two from Lang. As Boyd switches to a single leg over on her left side. Short time left in the first. And time runs out, we'll head to the break. Really just that opening sequence was all the scoring we had. It was the five point throw for board, the ensuing reversal for Lang. And some good hard scrapping since then, but no points have landed themselves on the board.
and looking for a throw. Countered, countered by Boyd, although no points awarded yet. Lang's in a tough spot though. She's gonna go to her back, she's gonna give up two, and she's gonna fight for her life as Boyd tried to end it, but Lang able to find her way to her belly. And two more for Boyd, and she's gonna come out to a 9-1 lead and finds herself in the driver's seat with the final 225 left in this bout. Katerine, Katerina Lang gonna have to claw her way back if she wants to find a spot on the junior world team. She's got enough time to do it. And boy, shoots a near arm opposite. A little bit jammed up there. Time, or not time, but we got a whistle. And a restart with two minutes to go. Well, they kind of both going at the same time and Boyd gets her way to the legs, but she's had a tough time finishing when she's in on the shots like this. Some really good defense from Lang in this position and once again, it's gonna get stopped and we're gonna go back to our feet with 112 to go in the bout. 112 to go in the series. 112 to go in the entire day of wrestling. And once again, Boyd to the leg, once again. Lang's gonna make it tough in this position, but I tell you, Lara Boyd's it's nothing less eating clock every time she gets to that leg. And we drop under a minute, it's gonna be closer to 45 on the restart, 48 is where it lands. And so at this point, yeah, it's headlock cities kind of go for big, big moves. And I think we had a white paddle. And two points on the takedown. Alara Boy drops match number one, comes back 4-3 in match number two, 11-1 in match number three. And she will earn a spot on the junior world team here.